Hello, welcome to a new video. It is quarter to one on Sunday morning. I've just done a shop in Lidl. I have spent this morning making sure everything is dry. It has obviously been very wet the last few days, so everything is now completely dry. Even my shoes, which were completely soaked. So really happy with that, because it's a lovely day today. And we'll be for the next week. I've also done a bit of planning. I am going to get a ferry to the island of Rab very shortly. So I will go down to Kirk, like the town of Kirk, and show you what it's like, and see where there's a ferry or a catamaran uh, to go to Rab. I will probably get the one at four o'clock, but I'm not exactly sure when they are. And I will arrive in the island of Rab at about five o'clock, maybe 5.30, before I will be heading to a campsite on the other side of the island. So I'll be there later this evening, maybe around 6.30. Hopefully it won't be getting too dark. I will now head to the town of Kirk. come to the port I wasn't really too sure how to get to Rab from here so I just asked the person he's just helping some other people at the moment but he says I can either go to another village where the ferry goes uh, which is what I was gonna do originally but uh, yeah it's not here or he says there's a catamaran that leaves here but he's not sure when the times are so he just needs to, to find out when they are um, but the ferry leaves at four, so that's another two hours. So that's plenty of time. Or if there's a, a catamaran here, then that's great. The really kind man got back to me and he said that the catamarans weren't running at this time of the year. So I'll need to cycle to the next village and get the ferry. So big props to him for helping me out there. It's amazing how much more appealing this island is when the weather's good. Saying that, there's a big rain cloud out there. Nice over there. But yeah, wow. I didn't know it was this pretty. Lovely here. By the way, I've got 16 spots or bites on my right arm. 16 spots. I was attacked last night. Wow. Look at the view. Some lovely scenery here. Very nice indeed. Ten pounds that cost. Such a nicer day compared to yesterday. This is more like Croatia. Right, I have an hour and a quarter until the boat leaves. So I think I'll do some editing, charge some batteries in the sun and just relax.
Okay, we have made it onto the island of Rab. Very exciting. Okay, so just an hour cycle ride until I get to the campsite. It's 20 past five. The day is absolutely flashed by. Cool, see you at the campsite. As you can see, it's getting quite dark. I arrived at the original campsite about half an hour ago. I had to knock on the owner's apartment door so I could talk to him and ask for a spot, but it was only a campsite for camper vans, as I found quite often recently. So he told me to go three kilometers down the road back, back backwards and find another campsite. I went three kilometers and went to this info desk and asked someone, and she said it was just apartments around that area. So she led me another kilometre or two further backwards um, and I found this premium camping resort. So two of these I found yesterday which said I couldn't stay there. But obviously I can now because I'm here. So I went to reception and I said, can I stay here? And she goes, yes, you can find somewhere over there. Just go now quick. <laughs> And I go, okay, great, uh, can I pay? And she goes, no, just pretend that I never saw you. So I've, I've come here, I won't pay anything. Um, so I've got myself a spot here, which is great, but it's getting dark, so I need to cook some dinner quickly. To be honest, I'm gonna need to get used to cooking and doing things in the dark because it's not gonna get any lighter, put it that way. So I'm gonna have dinner, have a shower, and uh, I don't know, I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. But yeah, <laughs> it's been a lovely evening. Very touristy. Ooh. So for dinner, we have courgette with noodles and some radish and tomato on the side. Not very much meat in this meal, but healthy, maybe. I'm kind of experimenting with new meals because I'm just having the same thing all the time and I don't really know what else to have. So we'll give this a go. I considered quite a few things and this is what I came up with. As you can see, it is dark, but I've got my bicycle light to give me light. And that's fine, really. Not a problem at all. Okay, I'll um, tuck in and I'll see how it tastes. Tell you what, that was quite nice. And for a meal that cost two pounds and was ready in seven minutes, not bad at all, really enjoyed that. It is probably around nine o'clock or 9.30. And I'm all ready for bed. Whew, it's been a long day again, despite the late start. But yep, I've had a shower, I've eaten. Gonna eat some more food because it didn't quite fill me up. But uh, gonna do a bit of editing and all that jazz. I have Wi-Fi and then go to bed. It is a massive complex here. There are four shower and toilet blocks. There's a plaza. So there's a shop, multiple restaurants. I reckon it might have been quite expensive here. <laughs> so luckily I got it for free. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. Good night.